Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching right now. I added right now, see this is, this is a big game changer, right here. This is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. Well, here we are once again with another video, another review, and uh, this time around, another frozen delicacy, if you want to call it that. And at this point in time, I don't even know if I'm saying that sarcastically anymore. Uh, because, you know, as we know, the situation, the way that it's being, it looks like, you know, the way that life is really has uh, changed for a while. And uh, so many of us continue to stay inside, we continue to do the social distancing, which is great, I strongly uh, encourage that. And uh, many of us are still getting food delivered, uh, we're getting takeout, um, even in some cases pickup. But many of us are also trying out different frozen foods. Uh, frozen pizzas, frozen novelties, frozen delicacy, frozen stuff. And uh, this time around, as I was perusing the uh, frozen section of the uh, the store, I came across this one, and it, it just it, it flooded me back with a, a deluge of good memories. Uh, you know, I, I remember I used to really love these things when I was a kid. I uh, had tried them out again, so yes, this is another item that I've had before because this is the stuff that I'm I'm seriously uh, eating. And, uh, well, here we go. I remember these things. Hebrew National Beef Franks in a Puff Pastry Blanket, aka Pigs in a Blanket, or, uh, I think I say Franks in a Blanket, or, uh, Pigs in a... Add, uh, adjective for blanket right there. But here they are. The, uh, Pigs in a Blanket... Let's, uh, do that right. There we go. Good enough, anyway. And, uh, there's different brands to this. A lot of places have this. They do their own. This is a very popular little, you know, appetizer, whatever, snack. Uh, the birds clearly like it. They're, uh, they're chirping away about it. And, uh, so many different companies make their own variation of this. I think Nathan's does. I think, you know, this is so, so many different companies that, again, they make their own little, you know, pigs in a blanket. And, uh, this is my favorite one, though. I've tried a lot of them, and, uh, this is the best one. And I've been snacking on these here and there. They're very easy to make. Uh, and I don't know. They just, they always turn out good. They're very reliable, but I just like the way that they taste. And, uh, they always end up, I don't know, they always end up good. Um, but this is the Hebrew National brand. Again, these, in my opinion, they just taste the best. That's, uh, that's all that there is to it. Uh, 32 per box. Pretty affordable, also. Uh, price does definitely vary, though, from one place to another. I've seen a box of these go anywhere from 5 to $10, and uh, it just it depends on where you go. But uh, I enjoy it. They taste good, and uh, they're easy to make. On the back of the box, it says, uh, Frankly, <laughs> we are quality in every bite. All the great taste and quality you've come to expect from Hebrew National, uh, wrapped in a delicate puff pastry. And it's a mini hot dog, right? That's exactly what it is. Mini hot dog and a little bit of a puffed pastry. Uh, it is smaller than what it sees, uh, what you see, so each one is not, you know, the size of like a quarter of my hand. Uh, they are much, so this is not to scale. That's what I'm trying to say. So, well, uh, with that, as I always do with the frozen food items, I could always sit here and talk and talk and talk about the, how you prepare it and what it looks like, etc. Um, but how about we just take a look and uh, let's just make a couple of them. And uh, then we'll go from there, we'll try them out. So uh, follow me, if you will, to the kitchen for uh, the glorious process of uh, the, the construction and creation of said pigs in a blanket. Take a look. Not a lot of people really know this, but the process of making uh, pigs in a blanket is really, it's an art. And uh, with it, it takes a lot of uh, delicate maneuvers. It's doable, anyone can do it, uh, but it is really, I mean, it is, it is an art. It is an art form. Number one, you have to have your materials. You have to have the, the pigs, plural, in said blanket, in said box, right? Hebrew national ones. Uh, I always like to have a little bit of a tray. Sorry, I have this little bit of a thing on my hand. Banged it the other day. All is good, though. I'm not I'm not suffering from it. I'm doing all right. Got to have this, though. Got to have a little bit of a tray. I always line it with foil there. Um, Publix brand aluminum foil, which I don't have a problem with. You can use any extra to make a little foil mousse if you want. Um, but you got that. Now we take them out of the uh, box. And there they are. 
Uh, now you can say, well, review bra, you've really been digging those pigs in a blanket. Or uh, maybe not, you know, what if, what if just to kind of mess around, I just removed all but four just to do it. Maybe it was a statement. Who, who knows? We'll, we'll just leave it a mystery. What happened to the rest of all of them? But either way, we've got four of them here. You can see they are, uh, they're frosty. So I guess maybe they really are pigs in, in a blanket because cause they're cold, get it? All right, so what you want to do is you just take them, lay them down one by one. How about that? We got one, two, and three, and four. Maybe I'll rearrange them a little bit better. We'll see. Now let's just check our instructions. So you preheat the oven to 400. Well, they say 16, but I'm just going to be a rebel and go with four, because that's just how I am. You know how rebellious I am. Uh, bake 20 to 22 minutes until the pastry is puffed and lightly browned. And then you just check them, make sure that they're good to go. All right. Now, today I'm going to be using a toaster oven this time around. So that's the one the one difference. Um, here's the thing, though. Every, every oven is different. And, uh, I mean, from what I've seen, uh, these they don't really need to be in for 20 minutes, at least on, on the oven that I use. But uh, just, you know, I, I check them, I watch them. And uh, with that... Let's turn this up to 400, put them in, and uh, we'll see how long they cook for until I, I think they're ready. They're going in. All right, so they've been in for about 10 minutes, I'd say. And, uh, well, you can see they're starting to get a little bit brown on the top, but they still have a ways to go. So we'll check back. And we're back, and uh, here we are. So we got them. I uh, let them cool down for a little bit, because you have to. With these types of things, they come out, they're piping hot, and the uh, last thing you want is to just, you know, singe your fingers as you're just trying to grasp them off the plate and uh, do things with them, right? You don't want that. You don't want uh, any excessive hand injury uh, from the removal of pigs in a blanket, you know, from your toaster machine. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny, I just did. Um, not the joke, just the toaster part. Anyway, <laughs> so here they are. Uh, as, as you know, I just made four of them. And uh, when I told you that the way, the way that just, I don't know, my oven cooks them, uh, I was able to get these just, just like this in uh, probably about, I don't know how many minutes it was. I think it was just 12 minutes. They say cook it for 22. Uh, but as you can see, they are most certainly cooked as is. Uh, let's see, let's, which is the best of the bunch? Let me say this one. I always like mine a little bit more on the well done side, so some people they won't, you know. This is one of those things you just gotta watch a little bit, but uh, I mean, for me they turned out to my liking. This is how I like them anyway, with a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a crisp to it, but that's just my preferred um, method of consumption, I guess you could say. So if you want to cook it even more, or less, I mean, it depends. Again, it's just, your oven, everyone's oven is different, but this is one of those items I suggest just checking in on every couple of minutes, see how they're doing, and just see if they're up to your liking. Now, I always like to spice it up a little bit, in the metaphorical sense, because this isn't remotely spicy. Um, but you can see there's my plate of four of them, and that red stuff, those aren't my brains, it's ketchup, believe it or not. So uh, isn't that crazy right there? But uh, there I am with a little plate of the pigs in a blanket. Let's focus on them. Right there, there I am. And there's some ketchup that you could uh, dip them with. That's what I always like to do. I'm, I'm not the kind that I really pour the ketchup on the pigs in a blanket. I just kind of, or the uh, beef franks in a puff pastry blanket, as the package says. I'm more of just a dipping kind of person. So well, let's just go for it. Dip it in. There you go. Hey, let's try it out. That was a slightly out of focus beef franks and a puff pastry blanket uh, consumption. There's another one.
You can see while it is baked on the outside, it's still juicy on the inside, and um, it just turns out well in my opinion. I think this all comes down to whether you're a fan of hot dogs or not. If you like them, I think you'll like these. Um, especially the Hebrew National brand ones, but you know, a lot of hot dogs um, have those similarities to it. Right, where it is tasty. You can taste that meaty flavor. Uh, it is a salty snack, I, got, I gotta tell you. Uh, I do have to sip some water down. And this is water in here, not any Mucinex night shift or anything this time around, just water. And, uh, yeah. You know, you have that saltiness to them. I mean, that's why I always like using the ketchup, too, because the ketchup, just, you know, that, that coolness of it, uh, I just like the way that kind of cancels out any excessive saltiness, you can say, uh, that's in these hot dogs. But quality-wise, I would say that they are up there. Uh, I've had other hot dogs, I forget the brand, you know, that are frozen, that you heat them up and whatever. And the issue that I've always had with them is that they come off as, like, just too... Not necessarily preserved, because these are always filled with preservatives, but they come off as like too, I don't know, just waterlogged, and I'm just, I don't know, there's something about them that I don't like. Whereas these, it's like they have that perfect blend, just between that crispiness of the outside, and uh, just a little bit of a grill to them, bake to them, whatever you want to call it, uh, and just how they're more tender on the inside. I always like that. Uh, I also like just the little pastry on the outside. Uh, there's just this little bit of a butteriness to it, and uh, just it still has this flakiness to it that I just think acts as just a very nice little, I don't know, little wrapping to it, a little blanket, you could say. I just like the juxtaposition of all the different textures and flavors, and it just blends together really well. Uh, just into a good snack, in my opinion. I think it's fun to make, fun to eat. Uh, you know, you could even heat a ton of them up and have it as a meal, or just something as a little bit of a snack if you want, uh, just to have a little bit of fun with them. But uh, it's one of those items that I think a lot of us just kind of overlook when we're shopping around for frozen stuff. But now that we're kind of inside and we want to maybe make our own food or heat up frozen little novelties like that, it's something that I recommend you take a look at because I've had these. I've been snacking on them here and there. I enjoy them. I think they're pretty good. And uh, yeah, I, I, I do like them. They're pretty affordable. They taste good and uh, easy to make. So out of 10, I would rate the uh, Hebrew National uh, Pigs in a Blanket. I mean, I'm satisfied with them. I've always been a big fan of them. 8.5 out of 10. Uh, because I like them, they're definitely some of the better ones that I've seen. So, uh, yeah, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of them. And, uh, yeah, check them out. If you can get them, give them a shot. So with that, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Today's review is for the Hebrew National uh, Beef Franks and a Puff Pastry Blanket. Yeah, a good snack. That's, uh, that's really all that I can say. And with that, that's all that I have for you. Please be safe out there. Things are still very, very uh, unstable in the world. Uh, unfortunately, I think they will continue to be. But please be safe. Uh, be hygienic. Be sanitary. Stay inside if you can. If you can't, please practice that social distancing. We will get through this, and uh, I'll still be here with you uh, with more reviews, more videos, and, of course, my radio broadcasts as well. Thank you. Please hang in there and do take care. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.